Are you concerned about your health, especially the risk of breast cancer? Or perhaps you know someone who is? Well, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're about to uncover a surprising secret to reduce the risk of breast cancer, and it involves something you might already have in your kitchen. But before we dive in, let me share an astounding fact. Breast cancer is a formidable adversary and the most common cancer among women, accounting for a staggering 25% of all invasive cancers. It doesn't discriminate. It can affect women at any age, but it's especially prevalent in those over 50. In fact, according to the American Cancer Society, the average age at diagnosis for breast cancer is 63 years old. But here's the thing. While age is a significant factor, it's not the only one that influences your risk. Family history, lifestyle choices and more play pivotal roles. Welcome back to our channel, your trusted source for health advice tailored especially for those who want to take control of their well-being, especially as they age. Today we're delving into a topic of utmost importance. How certain foods can significantly reduce the risk of breast cancer. This knowledge is particularly crucial for individuals over the age of 50, where the risk can be higher. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more great content like this if you haven't already done so. The role of tofu and soy foods. Now let's talk about a superstar in the realm of breast cancer prevention, tofu and other soy foods. You might be wondering, soy? Isn't there a lot of controversy around soy and breast cancer? Well, let's clear the air. Tofu, that versatile food made from soybeans, contains compounds called isoflavones. These little powerhouses have been linked to a reduced risk of breast cancer. Scientific evidence. But here's the exciting part. Science backs this up. Several studies and scientific research have shown that women who include more tofu and soy foods in their diet have a lower risk of breast cancer. For instance, a massive study involving over 9,000 women discovered that those who consumed the most soy foods enjoyed a whopping 37% lower risk of breast cancer compared to those who ate the least soy. Another study, which included over 16,000 women, found that those who made soy a significant part of their diet had a remarkable 22% lower risk of breast cancer. Why China's low breast cancer rate matters. Now here's something fascinating. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, China boasts one of the world's lowest breast cancer rates, with an age standardized incidence rate of just 19.3 per 100,000 women. That's a stark contrast to the higher rates in many other countries. But why is this significant? It's not just about tofu and soy sauce. Several factors are at play. Firstly, the average age of women in China is relatively young. Breast cancer tends to be more common in older women, so a younger population naturally has a lower rate of the disease. Secondly, Chinese women are less likely to be overweight or obese. Obesity is a major risk factor for breast cancer, so the lower rates of obesity in China contribute to the country's lower breast cancer rates. Lastly, and quite importantly, women in China have a tradition of incorporating tofu and other soy foods into their daily meals. This dietary habit may well be a key contributor to the country's remarkably low breast cancer rates. How isoflavones work. Now, you might be wondering how this works. Well, it's believed that isoflavones, those plant compounds found in soy, might be the key. Imagine your body as a bustling city, and the cells within it are like the city's inhabitants. Now, every city needs a traffic system to keep things flowing smoothly. In this analogy, that traffic system is akin to the hormones in your body, and one of the major players is estrogen. But sometimes things can get a bit chaotic. Just like heavy traffic can lead to accidents and gridlock in a city, too much estrogen or its erratic behavior can sometimes lead to issues in your body, including the risk of cancer. This is where isoflavones step in as traffic regulators. They have a unique ability to influence how estrogen behaves within your body. 
It's like having skilled traffic officers at busy intersections, ensuring everything runs smoothly and without disruptions. Firstly, they can act as a brake. When there's a risk of too much estrogen fueling the growth of cancer cells, isoflavones can step in and put on the brakes. They slow down the growth of these potentially harmful cells, preventing them from getting out of control. Secondly, isoflavones can be like a switch. If there are already some troublesome cancer cells lurking around, these compounds can essentially flip a switch within these cells. This switch is called apoptosis, and it's like a self-destruct button for malfunctioning cells. Isoflavones can trigger this process, effectively telling those harmful cells to shut down and disappear. They're also expert firefighters. Inflammation in your body can be like a fire that keeps smoldering. It's not good news, especially when it comes to cancer risk. Isoflavones have a calming effect on this inflammation, like a team of skilled firefighters putting out the flames, reducing the risk of these fires turning into something more serious. Lastly, they can have a calming influence on your city's residents. In this case, the residents are your cells, and isoflavones can help keep them peaceful and less prone to disturbances. In this context, they ensure that your cells don't go haywire, reducing the risk of chaotic situations that could lead to cancer. So, in simple terms, isoflavones found in soy foods are like the wise regulators and protectors of your body's internal city, helping maintain order, peace and safety. Their multiple actions together contribute to lowering the risk of breast cancer, and that's why including soy foods like tofu in your diet is a smart choice, especially as you age. The American Cancer Society's Recommendation It's important to note that most of these studies are observational, meaning they can't definitively prove that soy directly causes a reduction in breast cancer risk. However, their findings consistently support the idea that soy may offer protection against breast cancer. So here's what you can do. Consider including moderate amounts of soy foods like tofu, soy milk and edamame in your diet. The American Cancer Society defines a moderate amount as one to two servings per day. Now that you've learned about these amazing foods that could prevent breast cancer, let's take action. Action Steps Here's what you can do right away. 1. Incorporate tofu and soy. Swap out some of your usual protein sources with tofu, tempeh or soy-based products. Think tofu stir-fries, soy yogurt or even a handful of edamame. 2. Be mindful of portions. While soy is beneficial, remember that moderation is key. Aim for one to two servings daily. 3. Consult a healthcare professional. If you have specific concerns about your breast cancer risk, chat with your doctor. They can offer tailored advice based on your unique health profile. In summary, while the battle against breast cancer is complex, your diet can be a powerful ally. Tofu and soy foods can play a significant role in reducing your risk, particularly for those over 50. Incorporating these foods into your meals not only offers a delicious twist to your diet, but might just be your secret weapon against breast cancer. If you found this information valuable, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more health tips tailored for your well-being, especially as you embrace life after 50. We'd love to hear from you. Share your experiences with breast cancer prevention or your favorite soy recipes in the comments below. Together, we can learn, grow and support one another on our health journeys. Stay well and until next time.